hello students i hope you all are fine at your home and you are enjoying either you are enjoying or not but you must you have to study you have to enjoy there is no other option okay so last time we have started the uh, longitude and latitude and longitude sometimes uh, it is also called longitude okay so don't confuse about it longitude or longitude both are uh, right today i am going to explain about this second part it is the climatic zones of the earth it is a second lecture so today i am going to start the climatic zones of the earth because on the basis of these latitudes the latitudes are very important part how now see if you see there are three basic important part this the three important climatic zones first is torrid zone which is also called tropical zone second one it is temperate zone and third one it is the frigid zone so now let's i explain you about it so now by this diagram you can easily understand we know that these are the important lines this is the equator this tropic of cancer arctic circle same like that in the southern part the tropic of capricorn and the antarctic circle as last time i explained this is the sun's position the light is slanting on this part in direct sunlight on this part so the direct sunlight on this part because of that it is a completely a very hot region that's why it is called torrid zone or the tropic zone if light is slanting on this part till here and that here also one time is here one time because the earth is completely rotating always but you just consider the slanting of sunlight so in this portion the sunlight is slanting it means not direct sunlight so that's why the temperature is not too much hot not too much cold it is a moderate type of climate that's why it is called temperate zone here also in between the tropic of cancer and arctic circle and here it is a tropic of capricorn and the antarctic circle so these two parts these two parts are the temperate zone in the last one where the sunlight is very often only 3 month or only 2 month ninth month it is completely cold season so these from uh, arctic circle to the south pole and antarctic circle to the north pole so this area it is called the frigid zone here it is also the uh, frigid zone okay this is also the frigid zone so i hope it is clear just let me again explain you this center part gets direct sunlight okay so that's why it is called the torrid zone or why because it is all getting directly sunlight and very hot second one it is the temperate zone in between the tropic of cancer in arctic circle and tropic of capricorn in antarctic circle this is called the temperate zone and the last one in between the arctic circle and south pole it is frigid zone and an uh, arctic circle and north pole it is the frigid zone so you also remember these 23 and half degree to 66 and half degree 90 degree 0 degree so these are the important so now i think it is clear why these important lines why this tropic of cancer tropic of uh, sorry tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn arctic circle antarctic circle north pole south pole so by these uh, heat zones i think it is clear what is the importance of these important latitudes because after this the sunlight is changing the sunlight is changing after this the sunlight is changing the sunlight is changing that's why these lines are the boundary lines we can say that these lines are the boundary lines after that the intensity of heat is changes and on the basis of it these three zones are formed so if you remember or if you understand this diagram it is very easy to understand the language now see first is the torrid zone it is a very hot climate as i told why because direct sunlight is getting the weight is what is the range it is 23 and half degree north to the 23 and half degree south with equator now see this is the 23 and half degree it is also called tropic of cancer and 23 and half degree north okay from 23 and half degree south to the 23 and half degree north 
और वी कैन ऑल्सो से दे ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर टू द ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैप्रिकॉन इंक्लूडिंग इक्वेटर ऑल्सो सो दिस कंप्लीट एरिया इट इज कॉल्ड द टॉरिड जोन सो दे इज नो नीड टू लर्न द लैंग्वेज ओके बिकॉज इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड द डायग्राम इट इज वेरी इजी टू रिमेंबर दिस डाटा सेकंड वन इट इज द डोलड्रम व्हाट इज डोलड्रम जस्ट रिमेंबर इन द सेंटर देयर इज अ इक्वेटर देयर इज अ वेरी पर्टिकुलर वेरी नियर पार्ट ऑफ वेयर द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ हीट इज वेरी हाई सो व्हाट हैपेंस द रेंज इज फ्रॉम 5 डिग्री नॉर्थ टू 5 डिग्री साउथ ओके 5 डिग्री नॉर्थ टू 5 डिग्री साउथ बिकॉज़ 0 डिग्री इज इन सेंटर सो दिस एरिया दिस एरिया इट इज कॉल्ड द डोलड्रम और इट इक्वेटोरियल zone why because of the high temperature the pressure is very low and that's why there is no air flow the air is not blowing here so that's why it is very difficult for the sailors from crossing from equator so that's why this dual drum is very important part which is located near to the equator so i hope it is clear next one it is the temperate zones what is the temperate zones I already cleared you. Just let me see again. Either we say that twenty-three and half degree north to the sixty-sixty-six and half degree north. This area. Or either we can say that in between Tropic of Cancer to the Arctic Circle, and same as is in the south, twenty-three and half degree south to the sixty-six and half degree south. Or either we can say that Tropic of Capricorn to the Arctic, so Antarctic Circle. These are called the temperate zones, or this is the location of temperate zone. So I hope you clear twenty three and half degree north to the sixty six and half degree north twenty three half degree south to the sixty six and half degree. It is the location. What kind of climate? It is having the moderate type of climate. Okay, and receives slanting. Slanting it means tirchi. Okay, slanting means tirchi, not direct sunlight. So that's why it receives a slanting sun rays. That's why that climate is moderate, not too much hot, not too much cold. Last one, it is the Frigid zone. By the name, we can understand frigid. It means it is completely frozen, or we can say that it is completely very cold, extremely cold. Now see, it is in between sixty-six and half degree south to the south pole, or we can say that Arctic Circle to the south pole. Here it is sixty-six and half degree north to the north pole, or either we can say that Arctic Circle to the north pole. So this area is called the frigid zone. Same it's here, sixty six and half degree north to the north pole, sixty six and half degree south to the south pole. It is extremely cold, as I already told, because very few time only we can say that three month or two month it gets a sunlight. So that's why nine month is completely winter. Okay, that's why it is completely because it is completely frozen area. Okay, so it is having a very a uh, very extremely cold season. So these are the three different zones. Which is based on the latitudes, the importance of latitudes. We can also say that. Okay, so I hope it is clear what is torrid zone, temperate zone, and frigid zone, and where it is located by this diagram. It is also clear. Now come on the second part. It is our important part. It is the concept of longitude, or we can say the latitudes. Yes, remember sometimes students are confusing about the latitudes and longitudes. So remember about these. these are the latitudes how to remember if in hindi if you remember let let means letna how we hum lette kaise hain so like that okay so these all are the latitudes let you line and longitude long means lamba so these all are the longitudes so by this way you can remember don't be confused about latitudes and longitudes so the longitudes are also important lines on the earth now this is the earth structure just like there is a equator these are the latitudes same like that there is a longitude lines imaginary lines these are called the longitudes okay but these all are the semi circle okay these all are the semi circle now longitudes are also semi circle as i told meridian means the mid day, just same like that there is a central line na? here it is we called as equator same like that the center line but it is very difficult to find out where we have to find the center line because if we find every place we can make a center line because there is no particular uh, center so that's why the geographers decided in a conference that 
दिस लाइन इस पासेस थ्रू एन एरिया फ्रॉम द सेंटर ऑफ द इंग्लैंड बिकॉज इन इंग्लैंड देर इज द ओल्डेस्ट ऑब्जर्वेटरी इन इंग्लैंड इट इज कॉल्ड ग्रीन विच ओके इट इज द ओल्डेस्ट ऑब्जर्वेटरी सो दैट्स वाई दिस लाइन इज पासेस थ्रू द लंदन and that's why it is also called the greenwich mean time let let i will tell you but now you understand this is the prime meridian okay what is it called prime meridian this line is the prime meridian and just be, behind this just behind here it is that line it is also 0 degree and just behind it there is a 180 degree which is called the international date line later i will explain you about what is this is 0 degree importance and what is the 180 degree but remember the main line From where we start the zero degree, zero degree one two three four five till one eighty here, and one two three here. So in this situation, you can under understand there are two lines from the meridian here and here. Here it is the east and here it is the west. In the east, there are total one seventy line, and here it is one seventy line. And just behind there is only one line. It is one eighty degree. and this 180 degree is only not a west not a east because it is common for both okay so there are 170 line lines here 170 line lines here and they make a complete circle also okay along with prime meridian in 180 degree international date line so these all are the semi circles so i hope it is clear it is not that much difficult these are also a ty type of lines okay which is important for it and what is the main purpose for the finding location along with last time i explained you about the grid system along with the latitudes latitudes and longitudes these both are forming a particular location just like if i want to find this location so what longitude and what latitude is passing on these by these two datas we can find out the location and also for the time the longitude is very important for the time so when it is longitude which is also called prime meridian it is a complete circle okay they are total 179 degree east and 179 degree west as i told you explained you 180 degree not mentioned because it is a international date line okay not okay so i hope it is clear by this diagram you can more understand so this is the this is the structure the center there is a prime meridian and here they are the east and here it is the west 0 1 2 3 so these lines are 0 to 179 0 to 179 in east so these all are the meridians of longitude and lastly if you clear about this latitudes and longitudes you can also understand the uses or the importance of the latitudes and longitudes so these are the difference between so the latitudes is angular distance if you remember why i am just showing you because if you learn this table so uh, i hope you can clear the both difference what is the difference so latitude is the angular distance of a point north or the south okay and the longitude is the angular distance along with the equator all latitudes are parallel to equator all meridians are longitude uh, coverages the pole here it is distance is 11 uh, uh, kilometer here also the distance is 111 kilometer and the zero degree latitude is reference to as the equator zero degree 90 degree 90 degree here it is total 360 because 180 and 180 it is 360 and the latitudes from the equator poles are used to determine the temperate zones is very it is very important for the temperate zone it is for the time which is called greenwich mean time i told you so if you learn this if you understand this it is very easy to understand the or learn the concept of latitudes and longitude in the second table which is also very important extend from where it is it is there are torrid zones okay so this is the data and from in which center which i already told you if you learn the diagram so it is very easy to understand that a torrid zone temperate zone and frigid zone sun rays it is direct sunlight as i told in the torrid zone temperate zone slanting sunlight and extremely slanting for this it is a extremely slanting and for the climate for the climate it is very hot neither too hot nor too cold and very cold so this is also two tables by which you can learn the both concepts very easily or very uh, shortly so i hope you clear this both the uh, parts
इफ यू स्टिल हैविंग एनी प्रॉब्लम एनी डाउट दिक्कत परेशानी दुविधा शंका ट्रबल वॉट एवर यू आर यू कैन राइट योर कमेंट्स आई विल ट्राई टू आंसर इट थैंक यू सो मच इन्जॉय स्टडी